there was a very nice story on a very real big righteous man that he was uh, walking in the middle of the forest in one of the nights and while walking in the forest so many thoughts were were bothering him or were attacking him he was very scared and terrified from those thoughts he felt like he had people chasing him and stalking him on his tail behind his back and he was terrified and he was trying to think what to do with those horrible thoughts he didn't know what to do with them he started to judge himself and to check himself maybe I was doing something wrong maybe maybe I sinned maybe something from the past is chasing me that righteous man was paying attention and attention, attention to his thoughts he was trying to understand what what is the message behind those thoughts not ignoring those thoughts and trying to find a place to hide not trying to avoid those bad feelings and bad emotions and to find a solution how to cancel those fears and how to get over them he was trying to pay attention to the message to the wisdom that is hiding inside those thoughts in the words of those thoughts for an example if a person thinks all of the time that he won't have money that he won't be able to pay all of his payments, his rent, whatever. So he needs to pay attention to the fact that he all the time is worried about that thing and to try to understand what Hashem is trying to teach him on that topic. Maybe he needs to work on his confidence, maybe he's stolen money from someone and that's why those thoughts are chasing him, maybe he did something wrong or maybe his thoughts maybe his purity, his level about issues that depends in money are not as pure and not as high as needed and that's why Hashem is bringing those things to attack him another person can think about other issues all of the time he's afraid to be sick all of the time he's afraid not to be healthy that all of his beloved ones won't be as strong as they are and what's going to happen to them and what will be and on so a person like that to take those thoughts and to try to understand why those thoughts are terrifying him and not others and learning the lesson means to work on yourself to improve to build yourself to try to get to a better place in your spiritual level, in your emotional level to try to achieve certain things that will heal your spirit so that righteous man was dealing with his fears when he was paying attention to them he tried to listen to them and when he paid attention that he was afraid from people that are chasing him so he tried to ask himself, maybe I'm chasing someone. And then he remembered that there is a person in his community that he was always chasing him and blaming him on certain things, even though that he was a righteous man, but he was too hard on that person in his community. And when he started doing tshuva on that, and he started to regret and pray to Hashem to give him the power to make it through that night and to go out from that forest and he promised Hashem that when he will get back to his town so he will take care of that person and gonna fix everything with him immediately all of his thoughts those negative thoughts disappeared and he found the path and the way how to make it out safely from that place and things just came back to order very easy to learn from that lesson because it's not hard for us to pay attention to our thoughts 
I just need to want to focus on them and not to ignore them to pay attention to our thoughts it's to find the Creator's message the real message of our Father in Heaven that is talking to us from His heart and sharing with us the message that is so needed the message that is needed and required for us to achieve completion in our faith and in our trust in Him May Hashem bless us all with much happiness and success in our tshuva process and coming back to faith to Emuna. Amen. Please subscribe and like this video and share it with your friends to help spread faith in the world. For more, please visit emuna.com.